Hello, and welcome to In the Trenches Security Operations Center. So quick synopsis of this course. Over the next couple hours, we're going to be talking about uh, what is a Security Operations Center or a SOC, and we'll talk about it and we'll refer to it as a SOC kind of going forward. And we're going to break that down into seven main portions over the next four hours. First portion is going to be this introduction and setup. We're going to talk about setting up the lab environment. Then we'll talk about enterprise security operations. Um, what does that mean? What does a SOC analyst do? Um, what is the function of a SOC in the bigger enterprise role of security? From there, we'll move on to hacker tactics, techniques, and procedures. And the idea here is we're going to talk about the different parts of the attack cycle. That way, um, from a defender standpoint, you, you know, you have an idea of what's happening when you spot a certain signature. If you spot, let's say, lateral scan tech uh, detections, then you'll have an idea that maybe they're trying to pivot internally through the network. And so that's why it's important to understand what the hacker uh, attack cycle is. From there, we'll move on to defensive tools for the modern enterprise. We'll be talking about IDS, uh, which is intrusion detection software, intrusion prevention software, data loss prevention software, network traffic analysis tools, and uh, event monitoring and logging tools. And this is a huge section. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we can pack in here. So we'll, we'll be covering that as best as we can. And we'll be using Security Onion, which we'll be setting up during our lab to kind of show some of that in action. Same thing when we get to event monitoring and threat hunting. We're going to talk about some of the key things that are important to know. One of those things is no normal. You have to know what your network's supposed to look like in order to identify anomalies, which could be a potential malicious attack. And once you understand what your network's supposed to look like, this concept of no normal, then we'll talk about indicators of compromise. Um, and we'll use uh, a tool, Sericata, that we'll, we'll set up during our lab to kind of see what, um, what some of those IOCs may be and what they would look like. From then, we'll move on to vulnerability management. We'll talk about what a vulnerability is and, and how to identify them. We'll talk about some vulnerability scanners, some enterprise vulnerability scanners that are commonly used. And then we'll talk a little bit about understanding vulnerabilities and this idea that not all vulnerabilities are kind of created equal. Some vulnerabilities are more severe than others, and some severe vulnerabilities are kind of less lesser risk depending on the environment and the situation that they're in. So we'll kind of touch on that a little bit, which is a little bit of a threat modeling also. We'll then in section seven, we'll talk about incident response and the different phases of incident response. There are primarily six different phases uh, that most people believe. That's going to be preparation, identification, containment, eradication, recovery, and then lessons learned. And we'll break that down more in section seven. And then we'll finish up the course with some final thoughts and conclusions. So some prerequisites for this course, you will want a basic familiar with Linux and command line interface. We are going to be using Security Onion, which is kind of a network security monitoring operating system. We'll be running that as a virtual machine, and you'll, you'll want to be comfortable with moving around in that. Um, a general interest in security and penchant for learning. There is going to be a lot of information that comes out of this. Uh, we will be kind of staying at a surface level. We do, we are only going to be talking for a few hours, and the scope of this is quite large. And that's because uh, bullet three there, this is geared towards prepping people that want to take the EC Council Certified SOC Analyst Certification. So the idea here is just kind of give you a primer on what that uh, certification is going to cover. You would, of course, still have to take additional study materials and go over it and prep for the course itself. This is just kind of giving you an idea of what a SOC analyst is, what's, what, the, what the defensive side of security looks like. There are some minimum hardware requirements for this course. As I said, we're going to be using Security Onion. We'll be getting that uh, as a virtual machine that we'll grab from a link. Online, we've got a, a bit bigger of a virtual machine that you'll need here. So you'll need a bit bigger of a piece of hardware, your laptop or your desktop, mostly. And we bumped up the memory and the storage. Um, normally, you, you know, we're looking at two gigs. We'll kind of get you by if you're talking about something like Kali Linux a lot of the time. But we really want at least four gigs for Security Onion. We also want 120 gigs of storage. Security Onion itself is a seven gig download. So that's something to be aware of that will take quite a bit of time to go ahead and download. And uh, once you go to install it using VirtualBox, 
in order for security on to install it's going to want an additional 100 gigs of space so it is quite a large virtual machine now if it's dynamic it won't necessarily fill all that 100 gigs it just wants that there so that it can write because you're writing logs and things like that and that's why it needs so much space if we were to put security on in into an enterprise environment it would be gathering huge amounts of logs and it needs a lot of space to store those and then that's all you'll really need for for this setup so with that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into set up the lab environment.